Innovations to the home of a world-renowned traditional healer, Kreda Mutwa, are expected to be completed by the end of August. This after a social media frenzy about the unbearable conditions that Mutwa and his family are subjected to while their house is being renovated. Now, the Northern Cape Department of Agriculture, Arts, uh, I beg your pardon, Arts and Culture, has already spent about 600,000 rand to, for this revamp. Credo Mutua's dilapidated house started six months ago. The project was supposed to take two months. We have replaced this, the roof of the home. We have secured the perimeter with, with fencing to ensure his safety as they are old age. We have also reinforced the, the walls inside the house. After discussions with, 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 the, with our infrastructure unit, they have indicated by the end of the month Everything should be finalized and then the family can move back into the home because we have, they have temporarily moved out to a, to a place next door. However, the Credo Mutua Foundation says communications between the department and his family needs to be improved. The Department of Arts and Culture in the Northern Cape had started the project and the understanding is they ran out of funds but they had gone back to reprioritize the completion of the property renovation. We're not sure whether what informed them going back is it social media platform pressures or it is part of their project planning, which we are not, you know, um, don't have access to. According to his foundation, the 98-year-old remains frail. They have indicated that they will be engaging the provincial government to request medical assistance for the Sanusi. Refilo Mekwa, SBC News, Gurman in the Northern Cape.